Hi guys, my name is Mike. I'm a quality assurance nurse from Metasource Home Health Solutions. At ngayon, pag-uusapan po natin ang COVID-19 awareness. So to start, let me present to you the illustration that is given to us by Johns Hopkins University, one of the best research institutes in the United States that monitors the condition of the COVID-19 globally. So makikita po natin guys, ito na po yung total number of confirmed cases as of today, March 13, 2020, ngayong 7 p.m. na gambi. So 135,000 na po ang confirmed cases na kung saan may total, total deaths na umabo na po nearly 5,000. At ito po yung listahan ng mga top 10 po natin mula sa China, pababa ng Italy, and so and so forth. So nakikita po natin, ito yung mga certain circles that would define or correspond to the number of cases of COVID-19. So the larger the circle, ibig sabihin, the bigger the cases of COVID-19. So it, dito po, nakasituate ang ating China, dito pong Iran, at ang mismo hindi po natin mabasta-basta ma-distinguish na circle na Italy, nandito po sa European Union. Now let's go on to the next slide. So according sa NBC, this was taken 24 hours ago. Malabas po ng coronavirus po ay pandemic na po siya according sa World Health Organization. Ano bang meron dito sa word na pandemic? So let me introduce to you the next slide. So this would now describe the three degrees of the widespread of certain disease according to its prevalence. Huwag snabing prevalence guys, this is the rate of commonness of the disease that is progressing in number over time. So ibig sabihin, Pag gusto malaman ang paglaganap ng disease, dapat pag-aralan ang prevalence. So, these are the different degrees. So, first one, endemic. The word itself, endemic, from the word or from the prefix na endo. Ibig sabihin yan, inside of the country, inside of a certain place. So, limited lang yung mismong uh, pinagmulan ng ating COVID-19 sa China noong December. So, tinawag pa siyang endemic noon kasi uh, hindi pa siya lumalabas sa mismong certain geographic location. Pero since hindi siya basa-basa nawawala, uh, nagkakaroon siya ng constant presence doon. Ibig sabihin constant presence ay ibig sabihin po niyan ay hindi po siya basa-basa nawawala. Hindi po siya seasonal. Persistent po siya. Consistently uh, appearing. Kaya po siya tinawag na endemic. Now, Kapag kumala po yan, all throughout the neighboring provinces of China at lumabas po yan as far as United States or South America, napadpad po yan sa neighboring countries po niya, sa Thailand, sa Korean Peninsula, kagaya na North and South, matatawag na po siyang epidemic. Kasi pag sinabi epidemic, okay, from the prefix term na epi which is outside, Ibig sabihin, there's a sudden increase already of number of cases beyond what is normally expected. But, pag ito ay dumami at kumalat sila sa a certain area that are remote to the origin of the disease sa China, ito po ay tatawaging pandemic. Kasi ang ibig sabihin ng pandemic, it is the spread of the disease over the several country now usually affecting a large number of people. Kaya nga medyo na delay ang WHO to declare that COVID-19 as pandemic kasi nga limited lang ang pagkalat or very slow ang pagkalat ng mismo COVID-19. But it would be so uh, suspicious na sa nakikita po natin previously dito na talagang dumami naman talaga. So, bakit kaya? Medyo na delay. Ewan ko lang nga ba. Pero puto na tayo sa next slide para hindi tayo tatagal. Ito po ang definition ng COVID-19 according sa World, World Health Organization. So, the COVID-19 is an infectious disease caused by the most recently discovered coronavirus. It is a new virus this, and disease okay, were unknown before the outbreak began in Wuhan, China noong December 2019. Kaya nga po siya tinawag na COVID-19 because ang ibig sabihin ng COVID-19 is coronavirus disease since 2019 of December sa Wuhan, China. So, ano bang meron dito sa virus na ito? Let me differentiate to you the, diff, uh, the, the words, okay? Virus and bacterium. So, sa so nakikita po natin, ito po yung microscopic view 
ng mismong virus and bacterium. At sa nakikita po natin guys, ang ating virus ay relatively smaller than the bacterium. The bacterium is a living organism that is composed of cell with certain plasma and even organelles at kaya kaya po nila mag-thrive sa, sa isang environment provided it is given nutrition, proper nutrition and a favorable environment. Okay? Whereas ang virus natin, it could not actually do its metabolic job kasi nga, ang virus po natin technically are only uh, strands of protein that is encapsulated usually. Kaya kapag ito'y pumasok sa mismong cells ng tao, may infect po siya at mabubuhay po ang virus ang magpapakarami yan. Kaya lang ang bacteria, mas autonomous sila compared dito kasi ito, kahit wala siya sa loob ng katawan ng tao, nabubuhay po sila. Pero ang virus, hindi po sila basa-basa dumarami unless it was introduced or introduced sa loob ng katawan ng tao o ng isang susceptible host. So what are the symptoms of um, the COVID-19? So makikita mo na natin, meron po siyang fever, tiredness, and dry cup, pains, meron kang clogged nose, uh, meron kang runny nose, sore throat, and ang severe cases po natin, magkakaroon din sila ng tinatawag na difficulty of breathing. So sa nakikita po natin, itong mga sintomas na ito are common sa uh, influenza, and sometimes sa uh, mga certain uh, complications like pneumonia. Kaya minsan, mahirap po i-distinguish ang isang taong merong uh, COVID-19 sa taong merong katangkaso or flu. So, let's see the next slide. So, these are the typical symptoms of the COVID-19. So, na sa nakikita po natin, okay, mataas po ang percentage ng fever when it comes to the commonality. Mas karaniwan po sa tao na merong COVID-19 ang nakakaroon ng fever. Kaya lagi po silang chinecheck na merong thermal scanner pag pumapasok sila ng mga established uh, na organizations or mga reunions or, or ano po ba, mga malls, ganun po. Sa mga supermarkets, shopping centers, chinecheck po ang kanilang fever kasi isa po yung sintomas na meron silang COVID-19. At minsan meron din po silang dry cough, meron din pong sputum reduction. Kung hindi po dry ang cough niya, meron po siyang plema, meron pong shortness of breath, meron pong sakit sa uh, muscles, myalgia, meron po silang joint pains, meron silang sore throat, headache, at minsan nanginginig po sila, nagsusuka, o kay may pagsusuka. Okay? And yung kanilang nose are the, the, their noses are uh, congested, okay? Ibig sabihin, clogs siya. Minsan nagtatay sila, nag, nag, uh, nag-uubo ng dugo, and so and so forth, okay? Now, let's go to the next one. Paano nila tinatest ito? They are using, tinatawag natin, swab test via nasopharyngeal route. Ngayon, ang swab test po, nilalagay po yan sa ilong, kaya naso po, at they would actually push it against doon sa uh, throat para makakuha silang specimen. Kaya yung nakikita niyo po sa TV o narinig niyo po sa TV, sa mga radio, or even nababasa sa social, social media, lumalabas po na ang mga within 24 hours or within the day, kapag sila kumukuha ng mismong specimen, gumagawa, gumagawa po sila ng... Uh, diagnostic test sa pamamagitan po ng swab test. Mas madali po ito kasi compared dito sa PCR o yung tinatawag natin polymerase chain reaction test. Okay? Ito po kasi kinukuha po ito sa dugo. Ito po kinukuha po ito sa mismo throat. Okay? Via Q-tip na malaki. So this is not an ordinary Q-tip. Ito po ay isang swab. Okay? So ipapasok nila yan at wala naman silang gagawin na extraction ng blood dyan. Unlike this one, meron pong blood na kinukuha pagdating sa PCR. Now, let's go to the mode of transmission. Ito po ay nakukuha via contact and droplet and not airborne. Pag sinabing airborne, guys, okay, ibig sabihin, you can actually uh, contract the disease, makukuha mo yung disease 
kapag or yung virus kapag ito ay transmitted beyond 6 feet okay or as far as 6 feet okay pero kapag droplet droplet po yan okay within 3 feet maximum uh, marireach out ka na nung virus bakit nga ba droplet lang siya because for one thing ang ating coronavirus is actually one of the few largest viruses. Kaya kapag ito ay tumilapon sa pamagitan ng pagbahing o sa pag-sneeze o kaya sa, pag, uh, sa pag-uubo, okay, ay ito po ay mismo nagpaproject outside sa, ano, sa katawan mo papunta sa environment pero since mabibigat po sila, malalaki po sila, bumabagsak sila okay, uh, all at once via gravity. Okay? So, the coronavirus natin, kapag may nalapitan ka dyan na inu- uh, may umuubo, na ubuan ka, pwede ka makapitan ng coronavirus. So, the fatality rate, umabot na po sa, okay, ito po ay nakuha noong uh, February. So, lumalabas po na ang mismong MERS pa rin. Okay? Ang SARS are relatively higher ang kanilang fatality rate sa mga namamatay compared sa NCOV o itinatawag natin COVID-19. So, ang MERS po ay galing po yan sa salitang Middle East, okay? Respiratory Syndrome. Okay, ito pong SARS naman, Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome. Both of these are actually kins o kamag-anak po o kanayan po ng NCOV kasi parehas po silang mga coronaviruses pero mas malaki pa rin ang recorded fatalities na nakukuha po sa MERS compared naman sa NCOV at ganun din po ang SARS kay compared naman sa NCOV. So, huwag tayo masyadong matakot kasi nga hanggang ngayon, hindi naman ganun talaga kasing lala ng ang mismong NCOV compared naman dito sa dalawang previously uh, recorded na coronavirus fatalities. So, pagdating sa duration ng disease, okay, within 5 days, may, meron ka na makikita ang sintomas ng COVID-19 according sa Johns Hopkins study. Okay? That is why it is recommended na magkaroon ng 14-day quarantine period para ma-examine nila or ma-monitor nila yung mismong patient na merong COVID-19 how it progresses doon sa mismong uh, katawan niya ang kanyang coronavirus and how uh, it is evaluated kung hanggang saan po magre-recover ang patient. Okay? So, what are the causes of the COVID-19? So, makikita po natin dito guys na uh, most of the coronaviruses okay, are actually transmitted from uh, animals, particularly yung bats, the civet cat, the camel. Ang MERS po galing po sa camel. Okay? Ang mismong uh, SARS was actually belie- believed that galing po sa civet cats. Pero ang Wuhan, ito pong shocking, wala pa pong confirmed animal kung saan po siya galing. Okay? So, wag po tayong masyadong uh, kampante na kapag humawak po kayo ng animal, ay, meron ka ng coronavirus. Hindi po yun totoo. But we could actually uh, uh, suspect na pwede rin po siya galing sa tao or I mean sa hayop kasi nga ang mga coronaviruses po natin, they, they are, okay, almost all of them are originated sa mga hayop. Now, when it comes to the preventive measures, we don't ha- need to forget to have hand hygiene as usual and the use of personal protective equipment, okay? um, particularly masks, at kung paano umubo ng tamas, so pamagitan ng cuff etiquette, and avoiding the crowd. So, when it comes to hand hygiene, hand hygiene, no? makinigayo mabuti, napaka-importante yung hand hygiene because it is considered as a primary measure for Reducing or uh, having avoidance pagdating sa pag-contract ng infection. So, ito pong gagawin po natin. When it comes to hand hygiene, you could actually uh, choose two of the options. Pwede hand rub sa pamagitan ng sanitizers or disinfectants. Or pwede rin soap and water. 
But let me tell you first, yung sa hand rub. Pag meron kayong alcohol sa bahay, gaya una yung gagawin. Okay? You need to make sure that uh, you're, you are accessible with the disinfectant. Ilalagay mo sa palm mo. At once you squeeze the disinfectant, for example, sanitizer or alcohol, you're going to um, use your palm in rotational manner. Yan, ipapahid mo sa palm mo. Then after that one, interlace mo yung dalawang uh, kamay mo between their fingers. Okay? And make sure na ganun din po na number four, isasama mo pati palm mo when they are interlaced with each other. And don't forget the knuckles and the back of the hands kasi nga nakakalimutan natin madalas yan. And also don't forget to rub uh, the left thumb and the right thumb at the same time. Okay? And vice versa. And even the fingers. Okay? You need to rub the fingers in the rotational manner. At ganun din po ang mga finger pads mo and your nails. Okay? And make sure na nagagawa niyo po ito ng 20 to 30 seconds. Huwag po niyong bibilisan at paghugas ng kamay. If you really want na uh, magkakaroon kayo ng proper hand hygiene. Now when it comes to soap and water, almost same ang procedure po. Pero ito gagamit ka po ng water to moisten the area. Then use uh, soap, disinfectant soap or anti antibacterial or other soap na pwedeng uh, makapagpatay ng mga microbes including the viruses. So same, uh, same procedure as of the first slide. So ilalagyan mo sa palm mo, so between the fingers by interlacing, then palms and your fingers, then the knuckles. Then, rotational manner, individually sa mga thumb and fingers. And ganun din po sa mga finger pads and if your nails. Don't forget the nails and the wrists. Then, after that, i-rinse mo yung mismong soapy uh, hand mo doon sa my water. Then, make sure na nahugasan ng tama yan. Dry them up. Pero bago mo i-dry, you don't have to use your hands again after cleaning them. So, you can use your elbow kapag may lever. Okay, but sometimes we use um, clean cloth or mga malinis na tissue pang patay ng mismo faucet. Then it's now time for you to dry your hands. Then wala, tapos na. Okay, next one, puta na tayo sa paggamit ng PPE or ng personal protective equipment. So bago natin gamitin yan, you need to be aware of the different precautions. So what could we pres uh, uh, present ourselves or ano bang pwede natin gamitin na PPE sa particular precaution? Pag napansin mo itong mga certain sakit na ito, okay, kagaya ng chicken pox, measles, and SAR. Actually, SARS is not really that airborne, okay? But most of the time, kapag, uh, kapag uh, compared sa mga ibang mga ano natin, virus, ang ating COVID is actually uh, relatively like SARS pero hindi naman siya talaga airborne. Parang semi-airborne siya. And some of the bacterial infections like your tuberculosis, okay, and yung bird flu natin, the avian uh, influenza, okay, are actually airborne. So gumagamit sila ng N95. So, since alam naman natin na ang mismong coronavirus na 19 or the NCOV is actually by droplet and contact, gagamit ka ng surgical mask, hindi mo na necessarily pwedeng gamitin ang N N95 kasi uh, one of the reasons ito ay mahal compared naman sa surgical mask. At ito medyo uh, a little bit uncomfortable gamitin kapag ginamit mo yan ng extended period of time. So you're gonna use surgical mask and goggles at kapag may contact ka sa patient if you're a healthcare uh, worker especially you're gonna use gloves pair of gloves a gown and even some goggles pag nag splatter siya ng certain mucus okay don't forget it now this is the look of the parts of the surgical mask so itong nakikita yung blue ito po yung facing out sa iyo na nakikita ng mga tao, ito yung facing in sa iyo, which is the white one. 
Ito po, hindi po basa-basa na babasa kasi hydrophobic po itong non-woven layer. This one is actually hydro, uh, hydrophilic. So, ibig sabihin, pag umubo ka dyan, hindi yan basta-basta maglilik out pero ma-absorb yan dito. And the most critical part na pinaka-importante ay yung nasa middle part, which is the filter material. Now, if you're gonna use the surgical mask, you make sure na after you use it in a day, you don't have to recycle it. Kailangan mo siyang i-dispose of kasi nga single use lang ang paggamit ng surgical mask. So, I won't discuss this further kasi hindi naman common ang tie-on. Pero madalas po ang merong ear loop na paggamit. Nakakita na ba kayong ear loop? Ito po yung paggamit ng mask na meron pong goma na pwedeng um, ilak sa mga ear lobes natin. So, you're just going to do what the picture says. So, i-extend mo yan sa ear lobes mo. Then, make sure na itataas mo yan, both of your fingers from the left and the right hand. Then, make sure na, na, that you're going to uh, push okay, the push the wire. Kasi may wire po dyan na kung saan it will follow, follow the contour of your of your uh, of your nose, okay, nose bridge, okay, with both of your hands. Do not ever pinch, kasi pa nag-pinch ka, lalo kung may salamin ka, magpo-foam yung salamin mo ng usok. Okay, yan ang ayaw na natin mangyari, lalo na sa akin kasi ako ay lagi nagsasalamin. So, you're just going to push them against of, um, of your two fingers from both left and right hand. Then, wala, tapos na. At malapit na po tayo matapos, guys. Okay, cover your cuff. Now, when you're covering cuff, make sure na gumagamit ka ng handkerchief or a clean tissue. Okay, we're gonna use them. Okay, all uh, all all the time kapag ikaw ay inuubo. At kapag minsan wala, in the absence of the cloth or the tissue, you may want to use your elbow para pagtakip ng yung mismong ilong at yung bunga ng pag umuubo. Now, why not your hands? Because your hands are actually uh, more convenient sa uh, handling things. Kaya kapag umubo ka dyan at meron kang sakit, may tendency na mahawaan mo ang mga tao sa pamagitan ng paghawak nila din ng mga inanimate objects na nakawaka mo na. Then make sure na pag nagamit mo na ang iyong tissue or other uh, cloth, i-dispose mo yan and wash your hands. Don't forget to wash your hands. Now, I'm not going to discuss further yung mga ibang mga slides dito, but I'm going to uh, to show to you is it true na effective po ba ang thermal scanner to detect people with coronavirus? The answer is no. Because ang thermal scanner po natin, ang ginagawa lang niya, dinedetect niya lang ang mismong tao na merong fever. And since nakita natin kanina na common po ang fever sa mga may viral infection, okay, they are suspecting already that person is already ill or ill. Dahil ill na po siya, okay, it is recommended that they need to see the doctor at once, okay. Then after that one, okay, let's go to the next. What's, okay, what's the misconception about the COVID-19? Uh, Do you think that Pets could actually spread the new coronavirus. What do you think? Okay, according to the WHO, the World Health Organization, at present there is no evidence na ang mga pets natin ay makakahawa sila at, in, at can be um, infectious with the new coronavirus. But it is always a good idea to always uh, wash your hands after you can contact them. Okay. Now, what about those materials that are actually um, made in China? Totoo po ba na nakakahawa po yan pag galing po ng China? Okay, even though the coronavirus can stay on the surfaces for a few hours or up to several days, okay, it is always very unlikely o oh, hindi daw talaga tut uh, mangyayari madalas na yung virus na yan will persist on the surface after it's being moved. Kasi nga, usually ang mga virus natin, pag nagalaw po yan, madalas, lalo na kapag nagtatransfer yan from one place to another, sila po ay totally nadidissolve. Okay? So, 
importante na i-educate natin ang mga kaibigan natin na wag po tayong basta-basta matakot kapag may mga packaging tayo na galing po sa ibang bansa. Now, totoo po ba kapag ikaw ay naligo sa mainit na tubig ay mapapatay mo ang coronavirus? The answer is no. Taking hot bath will not prevent you from catching COVID-19. Remember that most of your virus viruses are actually thermal uh, resistant unless okay acted upon by uh, certain procedures like yung autoclaving or something like yung gagamit kind of disinfectants that could help to reduce the number of viruses and certain contaminated object pero sa totoo lang Kaya nga natin iniiwasan ang mga malalamig na lugar, mga basang lugar, kasi nga doon sila madalas dumarami. Ang mga ano natin, viruses kasi, pag nasa mainit na lugar sila, some of them, some of the species of the viruses are actually not replicate, replicating properly o dumarami ng uh, husto pag mainit ang lugar. Pero it doesn't mean na kapag ikaw ay naligo ng mainit, nababawasan po o naiwasan mo ang coronavirus. So, mas maigi na umiwas tayo sa mga bagay-bagay o sa mga tao na infected ng coronavirus. Vaccines. Until today, wala pa pong vaccines para sa COVID-19. So, do not assume na uh, mga vaccines po natin na nakukuha po sa hospital like your pneumonia vaccine and other flu vaccines, hindi po yan nakakatulong pagdating sa coronavirus. Okay. So, do you think that the new coronavirus will affect only the older people or the younger ones? Who do you think are susceptible? So, ang dapat natin tandaan, wala pong pinipili ang NCOV po natin. So, dapat talaga mag-inga po tayo. Pero usually, ang mga matatanda at ang mga taong meron mga pre-existing medical conditions like asthma and other respiratory problems and some of the uh, cardiovascular problems kagaya, kagaya ng uh, ang- angina, stroke, may history ng stroke, sometimes diabetes. Kapag meron kang ganito, you may want to actually uh, secl- seclude yourself. Dahil nga kapag na-affect yung mga ito, may tendency na makapag-develop sila ng COVID-19 disease. So, then, uh, susunod na slide natin. So, ito na po yung last one. Remember that there are currently no medications to prevent or treat the coronavirus. So, it is always best that you should limit your exposure to that virus and to stop it from spreading it to yourself and your family. So, thank you very much and good night.